Two decades ago, Tesla was just a wild idea, an electric car company that dared to defy the giants of the auto industry. Fast forward today and the company hasn't just survived, it's completely rewritten the rules of the game. From its relentless push for the fully autonomous driving to the massive gigafactories churning out cars at unprecedented scale, Tesla has always been about the audacity. But what really sets it apart? It's the brain behind it all, the self-driving system architecture. Today, we are going to crack that open and explore how this has put Tesla light years ahead of its competitors. Did you know that Tesla Motors wasn't actually founded by Elon Musk? In fact, Elon wasn't a part of the original team. Tesla was started in 2003 by engineers Martin and Mark in San Carlos, California. The duo was inspired to create Tesla after GM recalled and destroyed its EV1 electric cars. This is a picture from the early 2000s showing a team responsible for launching EV1. Here is a short snippet showcasing a few of the remaining EV1 cars around the world. Most have ended up in research centers and are among the first fully electric vehicles developed and commercially launched. Elon later joined first as an investor and then as a chairman. Musk initially invested about $30 million to redesign this platform. Under his leadership, Tesla has no doubt transformed the automotive industry. From the launch of this version of Roadster in 2006 in California that you see out here, to the launch of Model S and X, Tesla has pushed the boundaries of these vehicles. These models have set new benchmark for electric vehicles. The highly anticipated Cybertruck with its futuristic design and rugged durability represents Tesla's boldest leap yet, pushing the limit of what electric vehicles are capable of achieving in terms of versatility, strength and off-road capability. Today, we are going to explore one of Tesla's most ambitious projects, full self-driving, which aims for level 5 autonomy, complete driving with zero human intervention. Before diving deep into Tesla's FSD system, it's important to understand what a standardized architecture looks like. It actually includes four core components. First one being perception. It's important to understand the world around the vehicle and that's the job of the perception module. Then we have localization. This module allows us to determine the car's precise location within its environment. This leads us to the third module known as path planning. Here, we map out the optimal route for the vehicle to follow to reach its destination. Then the last module allows us to execute the route through steering, brakes and accelerator. The core architecture used by companies like Waymo, Amazon Zooks, Tesla, Cruise and many others is based on these standard framework. With this standard architecture in mind, let's now explore Tesla's unique adaptation of this framework. Tesla's self-driving architecture introduces two key distinctions. First, Tesla merges the perception and localization functions into a unified vision system. This vision system is responsible for both seeing the environment and locating the vehicle within it. The vision system fits data into the path planning module which allows it to identify optimal trajectory to reach destination. This data is then fed to the motion control module. This executes the trajectory using steering, accelerator and brakes. The second novel component of Tesla's FSD system is its vision-only approach. Unlike its earlier models, which used radars and ultrasonic sensors, Tesla now solely relies on cameras and neural networks. This strategic shift was driven by Tesla's belief that the best way to achieve a human-like understanding of the environment much like how we navigate using our eyes, is through vision alone. Decoding Tesla's FSD begins with understanding its vision architecture. Let's take a closer look at this vision system. The Tesla vision system leverages eight high-resolution cameras installed around the vehicle to create a fully 360-degree view of the environment. These cameras act like car's eyes and gather data continuously. The challenge that the team ran into is that even though they had 8 cameras around the car, the system only produced flat 2D images. 
And because of that, it's really hard to figure out the elevation of roads, curbs, or to capture other important details about the car's surroundings. So, to make driving safer, we really need a 3D view of the world around the car. That's where the team decided to add the computer vision techniques powered by artificial neural networks. Using computer vision, Tesla processes these multiple camera feeds on the left through a series of neural networks which combine them into single unified 3D vector space that you see on the right. Think of this as a detailed 3D map that replicates the real world in a way that the car can understand and navigate through with high precision. This 3D vector space allows Tesla's FSD system to see and understand obstacles, pedestrians and other vehicles as if it's in a virtual simulation of the real world. This detailed view makes driving decisions more accurate, especially in complex environments like city streets. To achieve this, Tesla's engineering team led by Andre Karpati developed sophisticated neural networks that generate a precise and a cohesive 3D representation of the surroundings such as this one. This is what the original architecture looks like that was developed by the AI team at Tesla. It's these layers of neural networks that take the camera feeds and do the job of perception and localization. Now let's decode this architecture. Here is the simplified version of this architecture that we'll cover today. Let's break down how this architecture works step by step starting from the bottom layer of the 8 camera feeds. Tesla uses 8 cameras strategically placed around the vehicle to capture high definition video streams at 1280 by 960 resolution with 12 bit HDR at 36 frames per second. Now each of these cameras gives a unique perspective but because of their physical placement on the car, the images they capture are slightly misaligned as you can see in these styles. This can distort the 3D view of the system. That's where the calibration layer comes into play. This layer adjusts and corrects those camera feeds so they are properly aligned. It calibrates each camera's outputs making sure everything lines up correctly. Think of it like adjusting the focus on binoculars so that you get a clear and a singular view. After calibration, the aligned images go through the ResNet layer. This is where deep learning comes in. ResNet is simply a neural network which extracts key features from images and it does so at multiple scales. Let's take this image of a Tesla to better understand how this process works. On the left, we have the image that's sent to the ResNet layer and on the right, we see what the outcome looks like after the feature extraction process. At a smaller scale, ResNet identifies simple things like color, texture, which is what the lower layers on the right of the neural network focus on. But as we move deep, we can see the upper layers ResNet here can start to recognize more complex objects like cars or pedestrians. This level of detail across this scale is crucial for the car to understand its surrounding and make precise decisions about how to respond to each of these scenarios. Next is the Bidirectional Feature Pyramid Network or BiFPM layer. This layer takes all the features extracted by ResNet and combines them helping the system recognize objects at various distances. Think about it like this. If you are driving, you need to spot a car far ahead of us while also being aware of a pedestrian right next to you. The BiFPM layer ensures Tesla can accurately detect and process objects both near and far, giving it a more comprehensive view of the road. Once all the features have been extracted, they are sent to the fusion layer. This is where the magic happens. The fusion layer merges the output from all eight cameras into a single unified 3D model. Here is a quick snapshot of what this looks like. This model is essentially a 3D model which provides a real-time representation of the car's surrounding and is developed by fusing all the data from the camera feeds through the layers that we saw till now. Now that Tesla has a solid 3D model of its surrounding, it's still missing a critical component, time. We still don't know how fast the vehicles ahead of us are moving and the same applies for the pedestrians, isn't it? That's where the future queue comes into the picture. The feature queue adds a time component by caching data over a period which lets the system understand how the objects are moving. It's not just about knowing where a car or a pedestrian is, but also 
understanding how fast they are going and in which direction. For example, take a look at this scene. There are cars in front of us on the side and pedestrians. Wouldn't you want to know their trajectories so you can make a safe move? By tracking objects over time, Tesla can predict their future positions. For example, instead of just seeing where a car is right now at this intersection, Tesla can forecast where that car will be in a few seconds or even for that matter pedestrians enabling smoother and efficient decision making for navigation. Feature cues are great at predicting individual trajectories of each agent in the scene or each pedestrian or car. What about the entire environment or the scene? That's the job of the video module. It's a neural network custom designed to handle this task. Goal here is to understand the entire environment in front of you and the trajectory of all relevant agents in the scene, including cars ahead of us and around us. The video module accomplishes this by combining both the spatial data that is the feeds from the camera and temporal data that is the trajectories of each of these agents such as cars and pedestrians using spatial recurrent neural network. This helps Tesla predict how the environment will evolve over time, like whether a car ahead is about to change lanes or if a pedestrian might cross the street as you can see in this graphic. This data is then fed to Hydras, which is basically a set of custom neural networks, each designed to handle specific tasks on the top such as object detection, traffic light status check, velocity of adjacent car and more. Thus, after passing through all these layers, the system produces a coherent 3D model of the environment with predictions of future movements that you can see on the right of the screen. This output is Tesla's combined output of the perception and localization model, also known as the vision system, which allows the car to not only understand where it is, but also predict the trajectories of other objects in the environment. And this essentially is Tesla's vision system. So the Tesla vision system combines both the perception and localization functions, allowing it to understand surrounding and the trajectories of other agents in the scheme along with its own position. Now that Tesla's FST system has a clear 3D view, it feeds the data into the path planning module. This module uses neural networks to calculate the best route for the car based on its current location, destination and the environment. The system can predict the paths of other vehicles and determine the safest, most efficient route to follow. Here is a quick demo of the path planner and the motion control module. The path planner evaluates multiple trajectories and finalizes one that is safe, reliable and legal, further forwarding it to the motion control system which executes it as you can see out here. Here is another scenario where the Tesla vehicle in red responds to an oncoming car. It looks like impromptu coordination between the vehicles. The navigation system is tuned to adapt dynamic scenarios like this and respond in a safe and reliable manner. That completes the system architecture of Tesla's full self-driving system. Here is the final system architecture of Tesla designed by the Tesla AI team. This is what we covered in today's case study. The system is constantly evolving. I hope you found this information valuable. For more in-depth coverage of Tesla's FSD system and other self-driving car technologies, check out our full course at BoeingSeach.com. Link is available in the description below. Let me know in the comment section what other autonomous stacks you would like us to decode in the future episodes.